Ooh, storms are brewing again. <laughs> Tree. All around us. I don't know if that's rain, dust. I don't know. wanted a cheeseburger she's like I'm hungry for a good old cheeseburger we're out here in the middle of nowhere she wants a cheeseburger so now we gotta go to the damn diner so Deborah and I are splitting the chicken fried oh it's the damn burger it's a chicken fried steak burger doesn't that look good mm -hmm. And it's but not Mexican food. <laughs> what? Is it the holiday weekend? <laughs> and you hear all kinds of people out there? I know. It's okay. It's their weekend. They're here to play and have fun. Yeah. And all the rest of the time, we're here. And it's quiet. Yeah. It's okay. You can go sleep. No oh, good. Good night, baby. Okay, I bought these two little burritos, a dollar a piece, beef and cheese, and I'm gonna kind of make a smothered burrito um, with that. Enchilada sauce. Put it in the oven with some cheese. Smothered burritos. Mmm, that looks good. I'm going to cover it with some foil and put it in the oven. There has not been a day or a time that we've been at this state park that it isn't windy. I mean, windy. Really windy. I'm standing behind a vault toilet right now just to do this little part because of the wind so um i'm out walking bandit and um it's not gonna be any dialogue to this video because it's windy but i can always put music to it so we're gonna walk down here to the lake less the lakeless lake Say I've ever seen a boat ramp that turns. Well, that's weird. I didn't even think it would make it to the water, but I think it'd be interesting. What is it, baby? less windy down here. I'm gonna see if we could see the dam from here, but I don't think we're gonna be able to. This would be a beautiful lake if it was full. Wow, it even turns some more. That's crazy. No parking beyond this point. <laughs> Damn, it's 
back around that corner and you can't see it from here. What is that bandit? It's like I've never seen one of these. That looks like the original boat ramp. And then at some point they added this, widened it. So the park served breakfast on Sundays to the whole campground. So I'm gonna go check out what's for breakfast. You Joe Cool Bando. <laughs> so I, he needs some little doggles. Oh goodness. He says take them off. I was trying to help your eyes. You see, your eyes are watering because of the sun. Oh. Mabel, too? Hmm? Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Big, big bad bug bear bear. Let's <laughs> hope not. Big bad bug bird bee hunter. Butterfly. <laughs> Good morning. It is travel day, and I just opened my door and was hit with the smell of smoke. Yeah. Let me turn you around. It is there is a fire behind us, and it is very smoky in that direction. So. If you look over that mountain, it's getting very smoky. Over there is where the fire is. Yeah, it's smoky. It's a good thing we're leaving today. We are on the road, and we only stayed here at El Vado State Park for seven days. Um, because last time we were here, we just did a drive-through two years ago, and of course it was at a different time of year. It was later in the year, so the grass was dead. <laughs> it was desolate. It was hot was no water in the lake, working on the dam, and no internet. But now that Deborah has Starlink, it was like, we can do it. We can do anything for seven days. And it's green. It's beautiful. There's still no lake. There's a little bitty pond because um, they were still working on the dam. But we were at um, the damn diner the other day, which we're gonna go there again before we leave. We're going there right now. And um, uh, they told us there at the damn diner that they've stopped work on the dam. And um, it may be five or six years before they start work on it again. If I understand it right, they found, I don't know if it was other issues or it was engineered wrong in the beginning or I don't know. I'm not going to speculate, but anyway, so that's sad for this part of the country. This lake was storage for the Rio Grande 
um, river and you can go online and read all about the El Vado Dam. So um, anyway, we enjoyed our time here. Also, one, one with a, not really a drawback. I mean, when you're self-contained, it's no big deal. But they only had, they only turned the water on two hours a day from four to six. <laughs> so you, if you wanted water, you needed to um, fill up a jug or, um, that's what I did. That's all I did was, because I had water already in my tank. And I just filled up a gallon jug and put it into my Berkey. And I didn't have any problems. So, anyway. It was a good time. The park hosts were excellent. Um, yesterday morning you saw that. That they fed us breakfast. And the park and the park host. So that was nice. They had burritos and um, McMuffins or some kind of muffin. Muffin and cheese and egg. And pancakes. And I don't know what else. Deviled eggs. The deviled eggs were great. And Kathy, the park host, made those. And they were yummy. But anyway, we're going to eat at the damn diner. We're probably going to half a, um, it's called the damn, the damn burger. And it's a chicken fried steak is the patty. And then they pile on the veggies and it's so good. And we have to, and it's a good thing we have to because I could not have eaten the whole one. <laughs> it's like I could barely eat the half of one. Look at that burger. That is crazy big. You can't even get your mouth around it. Mm. So we're at the El Vado Lake RV Park. There's not a sign here, but this is where the damn diner is. So you just have to know that that's where it is. Uh, I had to get my phone because I left it in my, in my rig. We're going to go to the dam and I want to take pictures. Let's go to the dam. Let's go Since to we've the been dam. to the dam diner. <laughs> now, travel discouraged during inclement weather. I think I would have left it at travel discouraged. <laughs> no trailers over 25 feet. So last time we were here, <laughs> last time it was a couple of years ago, and they were just starting work on it, and now they've determined that they uh, aren't going to be able to fix it, at least anytime soon. Next four to six years, they've halted work, and we had the workers come up to us and Tell us that we might want to get off the dam because as you can see it's a steel dam and there was evidently lightning in the area yeah it was cold and it was rainy cold that day rainy. Alvado Lake is already 200 plus feet low and uh, it's only going to dry up more but it's weird this road is not even paved either. Steel panels. I wonder what those cart things are. What does it do? All the way down. Boy, you can see a bulge right there. Yep. 
the integrity of this dam was what started the work on it and now it's been shut down again gosh there's a fishing boat down there we can go fishing <laughs> it's on the other side of the dam look at those rocks and I'm sure those people aren't very happy about it by lakefront property and there is no lake. Look at that river. So we're at an RV park just below the dam. And Deborah went in to see if there's fishing allowed here. And just for the day, how much it cost. All the scoop. They've got cabins here. RV park. Pretty cool. Well, that river is running. There's the bear family. Okay, it's just $8 per vehicle for the day. His name is David, and he has Canadian night crawlers for $5. So I'm going to go get us some. Oh, cool. And $5 a day per person? Eight. Eight dollars per, per day. No, per vehicle. Oh, and we just park anywhere and fish yeah, anywhere. Yeah, just come in and pay and go park and go cool. fishing. Yeah. Yeah. Look at what you got. Yeah. He says. Woo. He says. I'll What'd you say? We're the blanket family. The blanket family. You like your blanket, don't you? She says yes. Yeah. And I love my chair. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna be in five, four, ten. Car eight. Yep, yeah, this is what we're gonna do tomorrow. Today's Memorial Day, and I forgot. We thought we'd come to see if we could get our tickets early. But we couldn't. They're closed today. So, where's the engine? Guess we won't see the engine till tomorrow. <laughs>